All right, YouTube, what's going on? Today we're gonna to be doing an install um, on the Jeep. We're gonna be swapping out the 16 spot fuse holder from Steve Mead out to his new one right here. This is his newest creation, something custom, very cool. And uh, we're gonna be doing some backlighting and all kind of nice things for it. So uh, we've got to thank Steve for that. I went and picked it up last week and uh, he's a cool guy. So always appreciate his support. He's always supported me in the Jeep. Um, so that's why I try to display his products as well as I can. Um, if you guys haven't seen this on social media, I suggest you go follow me on Jeep and Bass. That can be found on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And if you already follow Steve, you've probably seen this already. But uh, without further ado, let's get it put in and show you guys the process. All right, so we're gonna get this thing installed. First thing we gotta do is pull up the old one. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking this apart. Uh, just four little uh, plastic nuts here for the cover. here all right so we gotta probably be careful about this it's been a while since I've done it but I think what I like to do first is just get all the fusing undone so I'm gonna come through here and loosen all these guys This is the older style of block where the fuses are somewhat separate from the rest of the rain terminals, but not on top. And the newer style he's got um, is all separate, so you can pull fusing without actually having to pull any wires, which is pretty cool. So let's see if we can get these guys out. Alright, so now I'm gonna pull the bottom wires off. And these are connected to power, so I'm gonna be careful with them as well. Get the right Allen key here. It's I think it's a standard. So it looks like it might be three sixteenths. Yeah. Alright, so the three sixteenths is get these uh, bolts off. All right, so there's all the connections taken apart. Um, now I can pull the block off a little lamp rack here, and then we can start looking at how I'm gonna put the new one on. I'll show you the differences. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but this one lines up really good to my amp rack. That's how I designed my rack was to fit this. Now that we're going to do a little bit bigger one, I'm gonna have to modify some things. So uh, let's go into that. So we got it out and do something with it. But we'll show you real quick. Side by side, you can see a little bit wider and a little bit taller. As you can tell, it's a little bit too tall. So I got some aluminum bar stock and uh, we're gonna cut some pieces. As you can see, this thing is transparent and I wanna do some backlighting. So I also got some LED lights. So let's go check out what we got and how we're gonna put this in. All right, so went to our local AutoZone, picked up some LED lights right here. Uh, they're a little bit spendy, but I kinda needed them fast. I didn't wanna wait for shipping. And I like this brand, it seems to be pretty good. I use it for uh, all my other lighting in the car. So I knew it would match, so got that. Um, this is for fixing some other stuff, not really related. And then we got this hardware, some, machine 
screws and some lock washers and some nuts and some spacks. I like my spacks, it's a good brand. Um, and here is our bar stock aluminum. So uh, I'm going to cut this up a little bit just to the length I need um, and then we'll mount it to my Amprax and show you kind of how I want to do that. So it's all in the plan. All right, so we're in the garage. We're going to do some cutting up of this bar stock here. So essentially I'm just going to make three straps that straddle this block on the back side. So I'm basically just getting the length set up to meet each of these holes. And I chose the minimum because it looks nice. So we're kind of going to see through this a little bit. So get our length here. Describe a little mark right here so I know my length and that's where I want to give it a cut. So I'm going to chuck it up in this real quick and later I'm going to brush it a little bit so I can, if it gets a little bit of vice grip marks on it, it's okay. Um, and I think I'm going to use the hacksaw, but probably try a new blade if we have one. A touch faster. This is probably going to get some comments like, you shouldn't run aluminum on this, but I'm just going to real quick. Here's a quick mock-up of the new SMD fuse holder. Don't have the backlighting on it completely yet. We're just using some of the existing kind of for this video, but you can see light coming through it. And I think you can see the amplifier behind there. All right, here's some progress on the Jeep. We're almost done with the LED lighting. I just gotta hook up these two strips to everything else and then we're set. I added some blue LEDs along with the white. So I have a little bit of like a mixture of color. I think it's gonna look really good with that new block. So I might even add some more blue later on, but for today, it's gonna look pretty cool. So I'm gonna get a little farther along here and show you guys once everything's installed.
All right, everyone, here's the finished product. It looks really good. This is the best it's ever looked back here, in my opinion. Get to up close to this fuse holder here. We're gonna wait for it to get a little darker and then we'll get some night shots of it glowing. But you can kind of see in the daytime in a little too hot. It's translucent. Looks awesome. So happy. I want to thank Steve Mead again for hooking me up, as always. We're going to get one put in the front pretty soon here. And then uh, probably do a few uh, cool things in the Civic soon. Because we'll be working on that. So, if you guys like the video, go hit that subscribe button. We appreciate your comments and likes. Hope you subscribe for more cool content. There it is.